Come in. Gracious greetings. I, I can only hope that you summoned me here intending to accept my humble apology for my misguided attempt to steal the relish recipe for Tracy. That's strange. Whoever you are, I see your foot. So just come out right now or I'm gonna incinerate you. This is criminal trespassing. I'm calling security. Be my guest. You do know how much money my family has donated to this hospital. Just because your family funds the hospital does not mean you own it or that you are somehow above the rules. Okie dokie. Release the hounds. I will, in fact, be temporarily inconvenienced. You will be permanently out of a job. Or... Or what? Or you and I can come up with something mutually beneficial. I need the formula to that relish, and you need patronage. And you're prepared to offer me that? Well, the ELQ Foundation could give you a grant. Maybe even build you your own laboratory dedicated solely to your work. The Ellie Salmon Laboratory. It's Trout. Trout. Ellie Trout. Trout. And I don't think you're in any position to be bribing me. You're not even in charge of ELQ anymore. Well, today, maybe, and possibly tomorrow, but soon. And for the rest of my life. Miss Quartermain, this may be an unfamiliar concept to you, but I have integrity. And that integrity forbids me from allowing you to bribe me into giving you the recipe. And I would never do anything that deceitful. Hmm. You know what I know about integrity? It just has a higher price tag. Well, my integrity is priceless. Really? Can't say the same for your boyfriend. Look, Spinelli, I'm not Despite worried about... Despite my regrettably duplicitous behavior concerning the condiment in question, I did have an 11th hour change of heart. Yeah, I know. Yes, and it was that change that was the impetus for the admittedly an advisable decision to swallow his soul. Spinelli, relax, out. relax. I didn't call you down here to chew you out about stealing the recipe. No? Huh. Then, then why? To tell you how you're going to make it up to me. Never mind that he went behind AJ's back, that I, I sort of like, but he was willing to betray you for a paycheck. You are a liar. You bullied Damien into stealing that formula by threatening to evict him from his office and his home. Well, to be fair, they are one and the same. Well, Damien's sense of honor won out in the end, and he chose to ingest the recipe. I remember. Give it up, Miss Quartermain. Trashing Damien is not going to persuade me to give you what you want. I get it. You're not going to allow anyone to besmirch Spinelli's good name. Correct. Well, inconvenient though it may be, I think it's admirable the way you're willing to stick up for your boyfriend. Assuming Damien is still my boyfriend. How may I make restitution for my regrettable actions? There's a missing Quartermain heir out there somewhere. May I ask how you discovered his or her existence? Heather Weber. I, I, normally, I'd figure she's either lying or crazy or both. But Carly backed it up. And I'm sorry, may I ask why this would-be scion is so important? Tracy's already searching. Now, if she finds the missing cue first, I could be out of CEO. Hell, I could be out of ELQ altogether. Yeah, and your work to reconstitute the relish recipe would all be hers and all the work that I've I've done to build a relationship with Michael and everything I've done to prove myself. I could go up and smoke. The most undesirable outcome. So Spinelli, can I count on you to help me or not? I will be most gratified to take up the quest for the missing cue. Thanks, Spinelli. Yes, I, I'm thankful for the opportunity to redeem myself, as well as for the distraction from my relationship woes. Well, what is there trouble in paradise? Well, my beloved and I, we we seem to be at a, at a bit of an impasse. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. I mean, I have never met two people more compatible than you and Ellie. I mean, look, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but you two are such perfect geeks. Right. <laughs> Yes, we, we have very, we have a, very much in common, but our paths diverge in one important way. 
How important? I want children and she doesn't. Ooh, he cheated on you. No, Damien's fidelity is not the issue here. Then what is? I don't want to have children and Damien does and I don't know if we can get past that. I feel for you, mate, more than you know. Having a child is a life-altering experience. So I've heard. I mean, if you and Ellie aren't seeing eye to eye, you need to really... Which we aren't. All I can tell you is this, that my son is probably the only thing that I've ever done right in this world. Michael is a very impressive young man. It is certainly something that I want. I just... I just hope that it would happen with Ellie. Hey, pal, I didn't say I wasn't going to take some convincing. But if I were you, I would never back down. I can't, in good conscience, bring a child into this world and expect them to clean up the mess of prior generations. That's the way you feel. Then don't let anybody convince you otherwise. You are a woman of principle, Ellie Trout, and I admire that. If you want my advice, you should tell... Damien, he should respect your principles. Oh, he does. Damien respects me. Well, if he can't accept your choice to be childless, then he should go pff, impregnate somebody else. But... No buts. No compromises. You stick to your guns. You stand your ground. If you need backup, I'm available. Thank you. You know, this was a surprisingly illuminating discussion, especially with the break in and... I agree. And since, well, we find ourselves so simpatico, I don't suppose I could convince you to hand over the formula for the relish? Even if I wanted to, it's not here. What does that mean, it's not here? I deciphered the formula for the final ingredient, and then I had it sent to an independent lab for further analysis, and to see what the uh, chemical translates to in culinary terms. They're sending the results directly to AJ at ELQ. Oh. Well then. I'm really sorry, Miss Quartermain. Uh, I'm afraid you're out of luck. Listen, I appreciate it. Thanks for doing this for me. Now, I gotta go get my tap shoes. Sorry, tap shoes? Yeah, I promised Elizabeth Weber that I would do a number with her at the nurse's ball. Yes, um, a uh, little heads up. Elizabeth may not be predisposed to singing and dancing at this juncture. Uh, her good friend, the princely Nicholas Cassadine, was shot. I, I didn't even know Nicholas was back in town. What happened? Well, I, I, I don't know, but it happened last night, so if you're looking for her, I'd imagine she would be at the hospital. Okay, thanks, Benelli. Oh, Elizabeth has to be going out of her mind. Elizabeth, I, I just heard about Nicholas. Is he okay? Did, did something happen? And when will the results arrive at ELQ? Wonderful. Thank you. Hello, Ellie. Damien. Are, are you available right now? I really think we need to discuss the baby situation. Oh, I couldn't agree more. I'm looking for Mr. Alan Quartermain, Jr. <laughs> Do I look like Alan Quartermain, Jr.? I have an envelope from the Duke Chemical Labs, and I need someone to sign for it. You his secretary? Am I his secretary? Yes. I am his secretary, and I would be happy to sign for that. <laughs> 